Let's talk about how to pass the Shell video interview. What's up guys, it's Mike from Job Ready English here to help you get hired. Today we're going to be talking about the oil and gas giant Shell and how you can pass the interview. Each of our videos are broken down into telling you what the recruitment process is going to be, the most common questions for their interview and also other questions which we found interesting. All of our research comes from publicly available sources which we trust based upon candidates experience from the past six months. If you want the research note that I'm going to be reading from as well as courses, worksheets and sample answers then check out the past the interview pack down in the description below. Let's get started. So Shell's recruitment process was reported to take about two months. Stage one was an application and online test. So this was a situational judgment test, game-like based assessment, and then an online video interview. For the online interview, you were given three minutes to answer and one minute to prepare. And there was a total of five questions, mostly based around star style questions. So I'd assume there'll be two why questions and three competency based questions. And finally, there was an assessment center, which most candidates reported as being a final interview at the head office. So we've got five common questions for you, which were questions which were asked repeatedly by two other candidates. And also we've got four other questions which we just found interesting. Most common questions. Question number one, where do you see yourself in five years time? Whenever you get asked this question, always make sure that you're going to be at the company where you're working at and somewhere slightly ahead in the organizational structure. So if you're a graduate, you're going to be a manager. If you're a manager, you're a senior manager, senior manager, director, and so on and so forth, depending on what the org chart is for that company. You'd be surprised how many times candidates will answer and say, oh, I'd probably start my own business or I'd be working at a different company. But when you think about it, if you were getting into a relationship with someone, you said, where do you see yourself in five years time? And they said, well, probably with somebody better than you. It's not really the good basis for a relationship. So exactly the same thing here. Question number two, why do you want to work at Shell? If you want an in-depth answer to this question and a free worksheet, click the card up in the top right hand corner. So why do you want to work for Shell? You've got three minutes to answer this question, which is quite a long time. It's about five to 600 words. So I would list out, I would say seven reasons why you want to work for Shell. So that could be from finances, revenue, corporate social responsibility projects, recent stuff that's been in the news. Try to avoid negative press. A lot of times candidates will say, well, there's only bad stuff in the news and I'm like, I'll find something else. Again, you know, like our bad points being pointed out. Now, as you go through, make sure that each of these facts are unique, so they're specific and not generic. And what I mean by that is, is that basically you couldn't say that about any other company. And also that you can personally relate to one or two of those points. So what you don't want to do is basically be turning around and saying, well, um, I want to work for Shell for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I end up going through those answers very quickly and it won't sound particularly particularly tailored to you and what you like. So you can inject a bit of your personality into this. Question number three, what was your greatest accomplishment? Now I love this question and I think something to bear in mind is really say something which is true to you. We work with a lot of international students and they tend to say, well, coming to the UK was probably the biggest thing that I've ever done. Now, not everybody can turn around and say, well, I was a national champion at this sport or blah, blah, blah. But we all have things that we are personally actually really proud of. And I think a good way to think about this is what if this was just a friend or a new romantic partner that asks you this question. You try and pick something out that deeply resonated with you and probably makes you feel a little bit emotional. Don't just pick out an answer that you think your audience wants to hear. I know when candidates are doing this because what they tend to do is like, well, I completed a research project at work. I'm like, dude, that's not your greatest achievement. Come on, introduce yourself. So again, if you want an in-depth answer to this question, make sure you click the card up above and you can also download our free worksheet. Introduce yourself is basically split up into six parts, which is where are you doing, what are you doing now? What did you do before, last three to five years? What do you want to do in the future? This job at this company, work experience, extracurricular skills and experience, and then finally skills and interests. And if you want a bonus, number seven is like end with a hook, something that's interesting that will draw people in, maybe a little known fact about yourself or something that you quite enjoy doing. I think this is quite a good thing to do. On a side note, personal introduction is a great basis for practicing interviews. This is something that you really want to have down pat because you'll be able to use this time and time again in different interviews. Next, what are your strengths? In three minutes, I pick three strengths, one thing a minute. That tends to be my rule of thumb for presentations. 
So what I would say for this is, um, pick out the strengths that are laid out in the job description, which are going to be the skills, and then give an example where you can demonstrate those strengths. Bearing in mind, you could turn around and say, well, I'm very strong. And they say, well, according to what? How much do you lift? How much do you bench? Or you say, well, I'm very bright. According to what? Do you, are you a member of Mensa? So when someone says they are something, the next place that our mind goes is according to what? According to like you're just stronger than a child, you're stronger than, you get the idea. So make sure you provide an experience which backs up the strength. So here, here are four other quick questions we quite liked. Tell me about a time you change someone's opinion. So they have an opinion, you present them with information, or you just have a different way of looking at things and how they should be done. Preferably you don't shout them down or argue them into submission. Question number two, give me a time when you were leading a coordinated effort. How did you support your team? What challenges did you face and what was the outcome? This is basically give me a time when you worked as part of a team. Question number three, talk about two people with different backgrounds that you worked with. What were the differences? How did you work with them? How did you build rapport? So this is a reflection on diversity. It's quite interesting. I haven't seen this question before. So it's really just talking about um, different backgrounds could just be different working styles. Um, it's not necessarily about ethnicity. It could just be, you know, people who are just wired differently. Some people like to work at night, some people in the morning, some people leave things until the last minute, some people are hyper organized. I think we all have friends or colleagues who reflect a breadth of ways of working. Question number four, tell me about a time when you had to work in a diverse team exactly the same thing and we want to reflect different ways of working guys i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you want to give yourself an increased chance of success for passing the shell video interview check out the pass the interview pack in the description below wherever you are and whatever you're doing i wish you the best of luck in your shell interview bye